Hey everybody, I'm finally back to do my next character review. Um, like, like, like I said before, um, from now on, uh, Chris and I are going to, uh, to only be doing, uh, one, one video each a week, because, uh, well, we're both very busy, um, and, um, l l like he mentioned in his video, this week, uh, we're, we're doing Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Batgirl from the animated Batman franchise. Um, he did his Belle video a few days ago, which was his contribution to this week, and I'm here today to do my Batgirl video, and then next week, he'll be doing his Batgirl video, and I'll be doing my Bill video. Um. Anyway, um, hopefully this video won't be too long, because she has a pretty short list of complaints, even if most of them are really stupid. The complaints are, she's the token chick, she was only added to the Batman franchise to get girls interested in it, she's nothing but a female version of Batman, she's boring, she has no personality, she's stupid, she's a bad role model for girls, because she's very unladylike, um, she teaches that fighting solves everything, and that it's fine to go into dangerous situations. And, the dumbest one of all, her relationship with Bruce Wayne is inappropriate because two people of different ages, genders, and social classes can't be friends without something going on. Hmm. That one sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Starting with, she's the token chick. So frickin' what? <laughs> Who cares if if a character is a token character as long as they're done well? I wh wh while I won't deny that there are poorly done uh, token characters like uh, uh <sighs> like like in uh. Oh, the the uh the, the the Barbie franchise where you've got T Ken who's the the token guy who's nothing but arm candy for Barbie. Um and um but ba ba Barbie's friends who are the token racial characters that have one-dimensional personalities. Um and uh And, 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 uh, th that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, B Barbie and her, uh, and, 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 and her sisters are about the only ones with any depth. Or, in the Darkwing Duck franchise, with, uh, Goslin as the token chick who's nothing but the stereotypical one-dimensional tomboy. Um, and, and whose primary role in the series is to either be comic relief or to be, uh, some, uh, plot device that shows that Darkwing actually cares about something other than fame and fortune. Um, yeah, there, there, there are t token characters like that that are definitely poorly done, but, uh, but I mean, wh wh when you look at token token characters like uh, Wh Webby from DuckTales, who actually has a deeper, more complex personality than the boys do, or uh, Miss Piggy from the Muppets, or Batgirl, um, who, who who is very interesting in my opinion. Um, 
she, 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 um, I mean, uh, B B Batgirl, um, has at least as much depth, if not, if not more than, uh, B Batman and Robin do. I mean, she, she's, uh, Uh, she, she, she's a, uh, f a lot like, uh, L Lola Bunny. She's a f feminine tomboy. She doesn't write gr girly things off as weak, but she likes athletic things. Um, and, and she w went into crime fighting to, s to save her father, um, who, who was, uh, be being framed for a crime that he didn't commit and that sort of thing. So I mean, if she if she's not your kind of character, she's not your kind of character. But pick a better reason than the token chick to dislike her. She was only added to the Batman franchise to get girls interested. A lot like the token chick one. Uh, who cares if that was the reason she was added? As long as she's a decent character. I mean. What um Well again, while I won't deny that there are characters that are uh added to franchises um for for reasons to get to um like that to get to, to, to get a w wider audience and that sort of thing that are poorly done. I don't really see her as being one of them. Uh, for for <laughs> for one thing, it actually worked with me. Um, I mean, gr gr growing up, uh, I I was always m much more into uh, uh, stuff aimed at boys that um, than the typical uh, girly girl Disney princess type things. Uh, Barbie stuff. Um, I, I I always found superheroes a lot more interesting, and having ha having B Batgirl f fighting alongside the guys as an equal to them, not playing the damsel in distress, uh, and and, and that sort of thing. Um, uh, ma 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 uh, ma ma made me feel like a, a lot more like I could <laughs> a lot more like part of the action than than a lot of superhero shows where the only role of the girl was to play the damsel in distress and it it uh, well ma ma made me feel like I could keep up with with the guys without having superpowers and that kind of thing. So, uh, for, uh, <laughs> for me, it actually worked to, <laughs> to, to, to get me more interested in the show. Um, and, and e even to this day, when I go back and uh, re-watch the old Batman the Animated Series a a as an adult, I, I still find her to be a very interesting, li likable character. Um, I mean, she she's my you know, f fourth favorite heroine after um, Minnie and Webby, who tie for my first... Then Miss Piggy, then Candace. Um, so again, n nice try, but pick a better reason than she was added to uh, to get <laughs> to get the girls interested. She's nothing but a female version of Batman, huh? Really? <laughs> um. <laughs> Are, are, are we watching the same show? I mean, if you look at, uh, uh, 
uh, ba Batman or Bruce Wayne, um, e either, either, uh, identity of him, he's very, uh, serious and stern and, uh, n not very fun-loving, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she, um, um, and, uh, she, she, she's a lot more, uh, and he, and he's also a lot, uh, harder on the criminals. Um, she, she's a lot more bubbly and fun-loving and, um, a lot more sympathetic towards the criminals than, than he usually is. Um, so, I mean, what, while, what, while, while they are both, uh, crime fighters that fight for justice, uh, and, uh, and, and, and that sort of thing, um, <laughs> they, they really don't have the same personality by any stretch of the imagination. Um, Uh, <laughs> um, that, that, that's, that's very, uh, nit nitpicky and invalid, in my opinion. I, I don't know, um, I'm not, I'm not very familiar with, uh, er early versions of her, maybe in, uh, m m maybe in, in some of the, the very early versions of her, she, she, uh, ha had a, sim a more similar personality to him, but, uh, n nowadays, I really don't see them as being, uh, th that similar. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's boring. Boring is in the eye of the beholder, yada yada yada. Um. Um. Well, uh, while I won't say, well, she definitely doesn't have the most complex personality. Um, I don't consider her to be boring. Um, but, uh, um, that, that, that's very subjective, um, and, um, pr pretty, uh, and not, and something I've gone over a lot. I mean, uh, um, <coughs> uh, my, my, my friend Chris finds the character of Batman to be boring, and I find him very interesting, and he finds, uh, Once Upon a Time to be really interesting, and I find it to be boring. So, d different people find different things to be boring, and if you find her too boring, then, uh, then she's probably just not a character, uh, that appeals to you. Uh, so that, that's very subjective and very much in the eye of the beholder, and something that I've gone over a lot, and, uh, uh, won't talk about too much. She has no personality. Uh, this is a complaint that gets thrown around a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> um, like I've said many, many, many times, um, unless the character only has one or two lines and is a very minor background character, they've got a personality. It may be one that you find boring, one that doesn't appeal to you. It may be a one-dimensional personality. It may be a poorly developed one, but they've got a personality. I mean, everybody from uh, Odette from the Swan Princess, Madeline from the Hunchback 2, um, Elsa from Frozen, um, Aurora and Philip. Prince Charming from Snow what from Cinderella, Snow White's Prince, uh, and many more have been accused of this. <laughs> um, and yes, and 
like I said before, I wouldn't say that she has a an extremely complex personality, but she's got a personality. And if it's one that you find boring, then she's probably just not your kind of character, but find a better complaint than she's got no personality, because she's got one. She's stupid. Heh. <laughs> really? <laughs> like the last one, this is a complaint that gets thrown around a lot. Um. Um. I mean, practically every character under the sun has been accused of being stupid. Uh. Ariel, Melody, uh, Jane from Return to Neverland, Webby, um, Kiara, um, <laughs> Everybody has been accused. Every character has been accused of this. Um, I I I I, th I think that often uh, um, ca character. I, I think that often people c confuse immaturity with with stupidity. I immaturity and ignorance with stupidity. Um, and in the in her early episodes she was she was de definitely immature and ignorant of the crime f fighting ways i will say that of of the ways of crime fighting i will say that um i i i'll i'll, I'll definitely admit that and she did make some arguably stupid decisions, like, um, uh, tr trusting Catwoman who's not, who who's not, like, like, uh, uh, supposedly trusting Catwoman who's not real trustworthy, but even then, uh, y y you could tell that she was hesitant to go along with her and that sort of thing. Um, but, uh, um, like I said, this complaint gets thrown around a lot, and so far we've had, uh, <laughs> three and, what, one-third characters where it's <laughs> arguably a legitimate reason to dislike them. Those being Anastasia Tremaine, Launchpad McQuack, um, Goofy... And, uh, Hugo. And, uh, the reason Hugo only counts as one-third is because it was given for, uh, all three of the Gargoyles. <laughs> um, and seriously, n name any hero or heroine that has any depth to their personality and any amount of screen time that hasn't made some arguably stupid decision. Because I, I can't. <laughs> um. Uh, and ma ma making some arguably stupid decisions, as I've said before, does not make a character stupid. It makes them human. <laughs> so, nice try, but pick a better reason. <laughs> Oh, and, and again, um, just because a character is stupid, that do, that isn't really, to, to, to me, if, if a character is stupid, that's not really a, a legitimate reason to, to hate them. For, for me, that has to, they have to be a total drooling idiot that contributes nothing to their team or... Or, or to their show and can't take care of themselves, like Diz from Austin and Allie, uh, 
Goofy in the new Mickey and Friends shorts and that sort of thing in order for, in order for it to be a legitimate reason to hate them. Sorry, I got a little off track. It's been a while since I've done a review. Um, anyway, moving on. She's a bad role model for girls, and those reasons are... She's very unladylike, she teaches that fighting solves everything, and... that it's fine to go into dangerous situations. Really? Um... Well, ha um, how is she any of those? Um... Like I said before, I always saw her as sort of a feminine tomboy, um, who enjoys athletic things and that sort of thing, but doesn't write off girly girly things as weak. Um, I mean, she she's shown as a you know get, get, getting dr dressed up in in nice dresses and. Uh, uh, for, for formal occasions, and, uh, be, being very polite. Um. Be, 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 very, being very polite to people that she admires and that sort of thing, so... I don't really see how she's unladylike. Um, I mean, yeah, she... Um, fights bad guys, but... <laughs> uh, that, that's... That, that, that's different. <laughs> um, and, and and she she does enjoy a athletic things like uh, um like she's involved in gymnastics. But again, I don't really see how that's uh, unladylike. And and I think that she's also involved in martial arts. Um, and as far as teaching that fighting solves everything, um, she's never the one who starts a fight, the villains are. Um, Um, she, 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 she's never the one who, who, who starts a fight. The, the villains are the one who, um, who, 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 start, who start the fight. She, she generally, uh, um, tr tries to solve a crime the best, the best that she can without re resorting to violence, which, uh, um, Um, which, 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 which ugh, sorry for stuttering. She tries to solve a crime the best that she can without starting a fight, which I always saw as uh, be, being uh, a good role model and a good example that uh, f fighting shouldn't be your first r resort, um, but that you can defend your yourself if you need to. Um... <clears throat> and as far as her teaching that it's fine to go into dangerous situations, um, not really, because she had to do a lot of, uh, physical training and stuff to uh, be prepared to be prepared um, to uh, become Batgirl. I mean, when she first decided that she was going to become Batgirl um, to, to save her father from being uh, um, to save her father after he was framed for a crime that he didn't commit, she realized that being a superhero wasn't as easy as it looked. And, uh, that she would have to do a lot more physical training before she 
c um, could actually be a full-time superhero, so she... Uh... So so she so she did did that and uh, um, so 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 she did that before she uh, uh, be became a, a, a officially Batgirl, um, which I always saw as kind of like uh, uh, police academy training or something like that, uh, sh showing kids that they can be uh, heroes if they want, but it's not something that happens overnight. Um, so, I guess I can get, get this to an extent, but you really have to think uh, you, you really ha have to think mo um, more deeply about um, all the stuff that she's gone through to become Batgirl. And, uh... And, uh... And, and, and that sort of thing. And, And finally, m m moving on to definitely the dumbest complaint of all. Her relationship with Bruce Wayne is inappropriate because two people of different ages, genders, and social classes can't be friends without something going on. Just like, uh, <laughs> apparently just like Minnie and Scrooge's relationship. <laughs> Retarded complaint has come back. Uh, I do not know how to respond to this. Where in either of their personalities would it indicate that uh, that something inappropriate is going on between them? Uh, I'm sorry, but, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, uh... <sighs> the closest thing to anything remotely romantic that I ever saw between them was before she became Batgirl, she had a, a mild crush on Batman. Not Bruce Wayne, because she didn't even know that it was him. She had a mild crush on Batman, and that was it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, where in either of their personalities would it indicate that... That, that something inappropriate was going on between them, and why can no... What, 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 why can no two people of di different ages, genders, and social classes just be friends without it automatically arousing suspicion? This is sad and pathetic. I mean... Bruce Wayne is busy r r r running his uh, his m many businesses and s and f fighting crime as Batman and yeah I know you occasionally see him uh, d dating other rich women not teenage girls N not 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 
No, young teen, early, not, not, not late teen, early 20 girls like Batgirl or Barbara Gordon. And B Barbara is busy going to college and f fighting crime as Batgirl. N neither of them are romantically involved with each other. If... And yet, yes, I know, in the Batman the Animated Series universe, it's implied that sex exists because of of one of of one m m minor scene where Harley is hinting that she wants to have sex with Joker, but if if there's no freaking indication that something is going on between two people, why why on earth bring it in? This is pathetic and and stupid. <laughs> this is pathetic and stupid and one of the lamest reasons to to hate a character. <laughs> And I find it really sad that uh, <laughs> that it's got that it's gotten to the point that I find it really sad that it's gotten to the point that people that that two people of different ages, genders, and social classes can't just be frickin' friends without arousing suspicion. Ugh. <laughs> I was hoping that we were <laughs> done with that gosh awful complaint. <laughs> it's just so stupid I've got to laugh at it. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> I, I, th I think I've made my point pretty clear how how, how freaking dumb I find that complaint. Uh, uh, like, like I said before, personally, I, I absolutely love Batgirl. I've loved her since I was a kid and first started watching Batman the Animated Series. She's my f fourth favorite heroine and one of my favorite fictional characters. I think that she's a very interesting and underrated character. Um, the link to Chris's video will be in the description box below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye and see you next time.